Hey everyone, this is Buddy back with another video. And I recently went through the process of having to buy a new external drive because my last one failed, but I did buy recovery software for my last drive. Now, from that experience, I actually learned a lot and I'm here to tell you guys how you guys can decide if you guys really should be buying that additional extra purchase of a recovery program for your external drives when you guys are purchasing these on, say, Amazon. I did make some timestamps that you guys can use if you guys only want maybe some of the information, although I encourage you to kind of check out the entire video because it's not just kind of cut and dry for people. So let's get straight into it. So data recovery programs that you can buy on Amazon, we're gonna go over and say the rescue data recovery plan, that's three years that Amazon offers for $15. And basically these data recovery programs allow you to send in your faulty drive that fails to either read or write. Basically you can't put anything on it and your device can't read anything from it. And you can send that device into a recovery service and they will either physically take it apart and repair it, or they'll just try to use software Software that they have available to them to kind of get as much data off of it as possible. Now there's no guarantee it finds everything, but it'll get you most likely a lot of your stuff back. So how does this work when it's played out? So I went through the process of figuring out how my rescue data service plan would go through when my drive failed. So I have a four terabyte WD or Western Digital hard drive that failed on me. It's four terabytes. And so I had to figure out how to do this. So you actually have to first call them up and provide a lot of information about your device. You even have to email them a proof of purchase. And then they actually have to email you a return kind of slip clip so you can package up and ship your device to them. It kind of it's on their end to ship to email that to you. It's been two days and I still haven't received one, if that tells you anything. So kind of not the best look already since you already have to call and then they have to ship, email you something so you can ship it to them. So eh, kind of sketchy. After that, you will actually package up your device with their prepaid shipping label. I'm pretty sure they actually pay for it, which is nice. Then you ship their device out there. So then they take their device and they do their best to try to recover it either hardware wise or software wise. And then after that, they actually either will ship you back your data only either on another hard drive that probably is pretty slow and just has enough storage to hold all of your storage that you shipped it with or in the cloud. So you actually have to download all your storage. So I actually have around like 800 or 850 gigabytes of data that I needed off of this. And it kind of was a little bit like, wow, that's a lot of data to have to download off the cloud. So I told them, hey, I'd like just to ship back a physical drive to me. Now I'm not gonna get the drive that I originally bought, which is key because this is a key nuance of buying data recovery programs on Amazon or just in general, is that you don't get your original drive back. And so that means that the manufacturer, which usually actually gives you a warranty on their drives, only their drives though, not the data part. My drive had a three year warranty on it, which meant if I sent that drive in to WD, they would actually check it out, make sure that it's faulty and send me back a new drive. And that would be great. I'd have another four terabyte drive available. However, I don't get any of the data back if I ship my device out there. Now, if I ship it to the data recovery software, they're not gonna ship me that device that I can ship out to WD and get a new device for. If you want your data back or you want the new drive, you gotta kind of de decide on that toss up. Now, another thing is, is with privacy. If you have a lot of private documents on there, you know, it might not be that private when you're getting them uh, recovered by that data recovery program because people, people could definitely see what they look like. And it also could get damaged in transport as well. And it could even get even worse badly dinged up. And so maybe your maybe salvageable data that you could have done yourself is now completely unusable because of the transportation aspect. So I came up with one case that buying data recovery software is 100% beneficial for. And that's pretty much when you plug it into your computer, your computer doesn't recognize it anywhere. And that's after searching through say terminal or command prompts or through the deep dives of device managers or something like that. Basically your computer cannot even tell that a device is plugged in. And so then even if you try say a free version of data recovery software you found online, and 
at that can't determine that it's even plugged in, that's probably when you needed to buy or you need to buy data recovery services for that drive. That's pretty much the only case in which it really helps to have an actual person to hardware repair your drive. Now, going on to some solutions of this, having data recovery software yourself, whether that's from a free, a paid, an open source, or even a torrented version online of some software that you can actually use to recover the data yourself, that would be an ideal way of not needing to actually buy this and you already have the software that you can recover it yourself. Another good idea is having a backup of the backup. So for me, for that four terabyte drive, I should have had another four terabyte by drive that I would then, after copying the files to one, I'd sit there and copy the files to the next one. That way that if one of them dies, the other one pretty much that will not die at the same time. There's a very low chance of two drives failing at the exact same time. And then another solution is to buy this data recovery software and just know in the back of your head that because you're spending these $15 on this data recovery, you will lose the full value of your drive if it fails. So if I bought my drive for say $120 back a year ago and I bought that $15 add-on plan, I pretty much said in my head, if this $120 drive dies, that's 120 bucks that's just out the door. I want that data back compared to that drive. If you're okay with that, that's another solution that you can go with. So in conclusion, basically buying this software, it's not a super big cost. I mean, 15 bucks is not that bad, especially for a warranty kind of program. Now it's almost like uh, an impulse buy because Amazon even sometimes suggests you to buy it. So then it's almost like, oh, 15 bucks, sure, throw it on in the cart. What's $15 when you're already spending around $100, right? And then it gives you some peace of mind. It's generally gonna be pretty useless for you. I would recommend getting some software, some backup software somehow. Don't be trying to pay a lot for that because you generally probably won't get as much uh, value out of it as you could. And then I'd also recommend get a backup of a backup. So try to get two drives if you can and keep both of those backups going. But that's pretty much the main conclusion of this. But oh, the last one, make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button if you enjoyed. Leave your comments down below. If you have any questions or comments you wanna to talk to me about something, hit the like button if you've enjoyed. Make sure that bell icon's dinged after you click that big red subscribe button so you stay updated with all of our future videos but thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped and i will see you in the next video